Big dreams don't happen alone. Long before they come to fruition, we share them with those we love and trust. He told me he loved me and that I was his best friend. And he said, thank you for being my guardian when I needed it and being my um, mom when I needed to be set straight. That captivating smile that he had, that mischievous little smirk he has, that was him. He would light up a room. He'd walk in and not know anybody, and all of a sudden, everybody was drawn to him. Drawn to big ideas, Taylor made his list as a teenager. Number one, join the Army. Mom resisted at first. And I just said, go forward. Be, who, be this protector. I know you're going to succeed. Goal met. Number 13, get a job. Taylor chose Colorado State Trooper. These are 100 miles per hour. On May 23rd, Taylor was almost at the end of his cadet training. If I can get him to come through the intersection. And was on a ride along with Trooper Clinton Rushing. Taylor had texted me that day at 7.30 and said, I'm, you know, I'm at an accident at Highway 1 and Highway 66. Just passing County Road 7. Warned of a chase coming their way, the cadet and trooper deployed stop sticks. The driver didn't stop. Both men were hit. At that time, I screamed. I just screamed, no, not him. Please, not him. Taylor died at the scene. Trooper Rushing was critically hurt. A tow truck driver also there wasn't hurt. He said Taylor shouted at him to get out of the way. He died a hero. He saved a man's life so he can go home to his little ones. Save a life. Goal number nine, achieved. There were so many more goals, many only the two of them knew about. Looking through his phone, I was the one that he inadvertently spoke to last. Their conversation wasn't supposed to end. Carol tried to keep it going. I would text him just to keep in touch with him. I got a few sh real short ones. I love you, I miss you, that type of stuff. And I just ignored him. One night in particular, just having a really bad night, just telling him I love you and I miss you and please come see me. And then I got a very heartfelt one. That's when she got a response. He said, I'm a sergeant with the Greeley police. And I told him who I was. And then it was like the breath got sucked out of me because the reply was about Taylor and about the accident. Sergeant Kel Holsey had a new phone with a new number. Turns out it was Taylor's old number. He offered to change the number. Carol asked him not to. After all, he was doing what Taylor wanted to do. He never got to experience all the great things of this job. I have got to do that, and, and I, think it's, I, I think it's good for me to remember all the great things, that, all the, all the wonderful things he was looking forward to. Everything he dreamed of, too, 33 years ago, as a new officer. It's like I always have a little angel in my pocket now. And so the conversation didn't end. And while Taylor never got the chance to reach many of his goals, as fate would have it, he did find a way to accomplish number 22. He's still trying to make a difference. I never want them to forget Taylor Tifo. And so the list goes on.